Hey, my name is Shadow Sense, and you're watching Until Dawn. I have a a weird lighting setup going on over here. I have my phone flashlight turned on on a tripod with a piece of paper to diffuse it. Anyway. Josh is so creepy sometimes, man. Check my audio. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm good. Cool. Oh yeah, Josh got fucking murked. Oh yeah, so did Jessica, unfortunately. I don't know how well this light's gonna work out, but I'm gonna keep it just for the ambiance. There is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? <sighs> Chapter 5 Dread. Six hours till dawn. That's not good. That's really not good. Covered in dirt and blood. Not to mention snow. It's gotta be he's gotta be freezing his nuts off. Legitimately. Hmm. Handy little trap door. That's an abandoned sanatorium. How does the light still work? I want to know. How are your ankles not shattered, my dude? Oh, okay. Mic time. Mm. A lot of weird moaning, and I don't like it. Is there anything over here? I feel like there's got to be something. You would think a totem would be over here. You think anyway? God, that's creepy as shit. Front door is wide open. This sanatorium reminds me of the. The mansion from the first Resident Evil. Look at them good puppers. <sighs> Doors locked. Gotta find a key. Where are we at in here? There's just all sorts of creepy sounds happening. Mike, you left the front door open. What are you, born in a barn? Look at that. Open 1922. Damn. Let's go to the administration. Oh god.
Uh, hey. Put it back in. That's what she said. Uh huh. We found batch of thirty clocking in cards from the mine locked away in a safe. That means were, there were thirty miners trapped in the mine. Oh shit! Look at this. Makes sense. All right. God, I just love all the background details and the sound design. Broken camera. Lens is smashed. Somebody did it. All right. I would take it. Oh, you can hear the dogs in the background. The wolves. Hmm, I don't like that staircase. But I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go there. Huh. Newspaper dated 1952 with a story about a reporter being banned from visiting a group of rescued ma miners. Uh, reporter had the camera confiscated. That was the camera. Alberta Post, January 9th. Reporter assaulted. Reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at Blackwood Sanatorium. Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The men had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at the Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of the Northwest Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that an incident was that the incident was unfortunate and that a full internal inquiry had been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing. I'm gonna try to move this lighting. It's actually got like fucking with my eye. Hopefully that works. <laughs> After a full internal inquiry had been launched, he also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. Okay. So now we know something really fucked up happened at the sanatorium. And we're gonna have to go down the spooky staircase. I don't like it when the camera moves like that. So he's creepy. One of these guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bauer. Oh boy. Miners rescued from the mine were healthier than expected, although. Some had exhibited reintegration problems. Uh, report mentions 12, but there are 30 clocking in numbers. There's no indication of what happened to the other 18 miners. Report follows regarding the initial state of the 12 miners at the collapse in the mine subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines. On receipt of the 12 patients at the sanatorium medical facility, we had fully expected to find emaciated shells of men, starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appeared cogent, or cogent, I don't know, probably cogent, and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies in the mine. Inhibited, uh, inhibited respiratory function was detected in few older men, as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. Psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group, though their outward health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Due to the delicate nature of uh, some of the patients, we have closed off a wing of the sanatorium. Psychological eva evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy and are prescribed a course of streptomycin. The others are simply kept under strict 24-hour observation. 
Well, it's Dr. Bowen, not Bauer. It looked like Bauer. <laughs> Alright, let's go, Mike. Oh, down here's the morgue, isn't it? Yeah, I think this is the morgue level. Ooh. Uh. What's up, bird? Oh shit. Gross. Yeah. Grab that machete. Gonna need it. I want to know how that just hangs on the tool loop. I've tried to do that with like fake swords and shit before, but they never just stayed there. Oh. Pupper. Nice skull. Wait, can I go through here? Yeah, there's stuff to look at in here. Telegram. Telegram warning about press interest and survivors brought to the sanatorium. Okay. To Mr. J. Bragg, incident update, 12 survivors received, showing signs of mental trauma may need to contain. Local press now have scent of blood. Becoming a problem, please advise further. Gee, who wouldn't want press snooping around this paradise? Oof. God, I would be absolutely shitting my pants if this were me. I would have cried and ran away forever ago. Oh, fuck the hand. Oh, I forgot about this. I'm actually going to ignore it. I'm actually just gonna nope right past that. This place just gets better. Oh. Mmm. Don't like that. Disfigured human head, suspended in formaldehyde. Uh. Yep, yeah, that's the morgue. Can't remember which one it is that's banging around. Alright, I'm gonna just look away. Ugh. I'm such a bitch. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's check this out. All right. I'm not going to look in any of the other ones. I'm just getting the hell out of here. What's this door? Ah, okay. Just gonna speed run the morgue. <laughs> Fuck me, man. This shit creeps me out. I should not have played this with the light off. You know, you know, I've said it before. I fuck me. Oh my god. Oh. Fucking wolf. Uh. 
<sighs> oh god, the wolf got me. <laughs> Oh, the wolf got me good. Yeah, just walk it off, Mike. Just walk it off. More shattered ankles. Right. Back in here. Sure are, buddy. Again, don't hit the dog. Okay. Okay. Easy boy. Easy. <sighs> Easy. That's a good boy. Good pupper. Good pupper. Oh. That's twice in one video, guys. How do you like that? Take that jacket. Could really use it. Miraculously, it fits. Come on. Come on. Yeah, gun get. Nice. Cool, cool. Got ourselves a nice little gun. Now what to be in here? I swear to god. You fucking do it. Thank you. Let's give the bone to the pupper. Oh, that's a good puppy. That's right. Oh, that's a good puppy. Hey, guy. You like that? Yeah. Everyone likes a little love, right? Right. Okay, what else can I look at in here? Oh, it's one of those things, except he doesn't have the strings. A map of the mountains with sightings and recent disappearances marked with dates. It looks like a work of an obsessive mind. I'd say. Are we going down the elevator? Oh yeah, this is a great idea. A very good idea. Sure not to bring any attention to you. Okay, this hallway just ends. Yeesh. Oh, I don't like that. The descent into hell. That's always good. Always a cool, fun, great thing to do. 
God, okay. The the wood there popping in the frame was gave me a little bit of a fright. There's a little of fright though. Of course, locked. Of course. Good idea number two. Shit. 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 Dumbass. Oh, the return of the cycle. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some the cycle. Some cool shit going on up here tonight. Yeah, you think so? Your friend Josh died. I'd say that's pretty uncool. So did Jessica, but you don't know about that. Me too, actually. Clue found! That was the axe missing from the house. Definitely wasn't there before. Sure won't. Sure sure wasn't. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt. We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. If we start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. About look. What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip palm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Uh, let's smash the door. Seems alpha. Fine. Here goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna. Shh, just do it. Oh. Oh, come on, Matt. You can hit harder than that. And a goosh. <laughs> Woo, someone really did a number on the place. Jump ten feet, vertical leap, horizontal leap. Excuse me. Everything is like so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. And up. Hey, look, fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Magellan? What, because I bothered to look at a map? Very friendly. <sighs> Unfollow. Emily, I hate you so much. Oh, maybe it has a radio or 
or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Yes. Probably. Absolutely. Yeah, we gotta get to that radio. Mm. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody exactly. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule Shut the two, nothing else fuck up. Because Emily is always right. I hate Emily so much, man. Oh my god. I wish she would just stop. Why do you keep going over here? Oh, hold up. That's good and good looking. Getting us out Smooth. of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Come on, Emily, geez. Yeah, I guess. Square. Ah! Ooh. You're all right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um you should go first to protect me. I'm glad he kept the axe with him. Okay, easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. Holy cannoli. <laughs> really? Jeez. I swear, the writing sometimes is just goofy. But I could put up with it because I love this game. It's a plan. It's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, she has a point. <laughs> you think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up. Wait it out. It, it'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in Surprised the I haven't found any totems. Unless I'm like completely oblivious and passing over them. Which is possible. Oh, wait, hey, hey, hey. Look what I was talking about. It's white okay that was Chris and Ash Chris had a shotgun I'm coming Emily geez as soon as I can get around this tree <laughs> my phone's vibrating on the tripod and it's skeezing me out every time Dan Cliff oh I know Dan Cliff Same. Alright. Attack of the elk. Well, that 
That's not creepy at all. I hate that so much. Hello? Every time I hear that song, because I think it's Mozart or Bach, nice. one of the classical composers, but and it's every time I hear that song used in something, I think of this game. Show titty, show titty, show titty. Close. Y'all about to see, experience the gravity defying towel. Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Nice not socks, cool. though. <laughs> that towel is a magical item. <laughs> almost got me. That clock almost got me. Chris? Mike? Emily? This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny. Haha. <laughs> Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? <gasps> that is cool. I don't, I'm uh, I'm gonna zoom in on that when it happens, but you could see the psycho underneath the staircase. You succeeded. So cool. It's a neat little feature. A little Easter egg. Yeah, it's a good idea to take that flashlight, actually. This is weird. There he is, Sam. Hey, guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. Steak land. I heard it's delicious. I know it's not that kind of steak. Looking for me? I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? What are you doing out there? A beautiful bathing bird. Do you think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? I don't know how he got those cinema cinematographic no. does it make you feel? cinematographic camera angles for all of this. God, what did you do? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. Ooh, with the needle. Sam. The uh, throw vase. Uh, Fuck off. Uh, uh, jump. Oh shit, yeah, triangle. Ooh. I was not anticipating that. Uh, keep running, just keep running. Are you kidding me? No handle? 
Pull! Oh, she's lucky she got out of the way in time, damn. Clonk! Just keep going. Oof. And the towel remains. Keep running. Run. Oh, jeez. So sorry. I'm glad there wasn't a... I'm glad there wasn't a jump scare right there. It just more or less startled me. Now, that was exciting, wasn't hey, your office is looking a lot nicer, mister. Doctor, I'm sorry. You didn't go to school for four years to be called mister. Dun, dun, dun. All right, and that's where we're gonna leave that episode. So thank you guys so very much for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.